crew. Okay. Hi right, guys, welcome back here to Agrarian Skies. This is my uh, modded single player world. And it's been a few changes since the last time we was on. I've done a few things off camera. The first thing I've done is I've planted this rubber tree. Okay, and with this one, if you cut the tree down, you get uh, some raw rubber as well. We're going to be using that to make plastic sheets. Okay, so let's... Oh, Stick with the hatchet. Like that. Uh, let's see if we can get a sapling to plant there. There we got one rubber sapling. Seem to be spending my, my life looking up at the sky and hitting leaves at the moment. Right. And yes, thank you for getting me paranoid about the sound. <laughs> The other one is I kind of knocked the building down because I was sick and tired of looking at it. I was actually getting feeling quite claustrophobic in there. And yeah, so no more house. I've kept a bit of wall with the trophies on it and I've I've built a... Um, a tool bench as well. She's put a few bits and pieces on like the the shovel and the bow that I made and the the frying pan Which is worn out, but I don't have any nether act to repair it Oh, uh, and there's some armor. I've got from killing zombies and that from the mob drop This mob drop Okay has worked so much better than I ever expected it to I mean should you just look at the mobs in here? Okay, um, if we press F3 here, okay, there's 82 mobs there, 80, 83 looking at it that way. Um, there is hundreds of them in there. Okay, and it's it's just filling up. In fact, this is working so very well that... Uh, <laughs> this is working so very well that uh, I'm, it's actually lagging the game out. So I'm having to come down here from time to time, kill all the, the, the zombies and creepers and that in the drop. Uh, so we'll just do that quickly. We'll just run through all this. And there we go. Bit of that. Let's do it over here as well. Uh, you can see uh, this is this is actually really um, filling our hunger up, uh, emptying our hunger bar out really fast. And oh yeah, so we're, we're done there. We're we're starving now. So let's drink some carrot juice to get our our bar back up. And let's go and see what we've picked up. So loads and loads and loads of stuff. And loads of experience. And oh, look at these bows. Cut the power twos, cut the power ones. Those have been really nice finds. Um, all the zombie brains we can eat. No idea what we do with those. Uh, put that in there. Put that, we don't need it. And the string. But as you can see, we're, we're pretty much filling up. We're getting loads and loads and loads of stuff out of this. Okay, so. Yeah, this is this has worked really well, and it's worked better than I expected. But when I stop to think about it, okay, up there in the mob trap is the only place in the entire world where mobs can spawn. So it's not surprising we're getting lots of mobs in there. I mean, you look how quickly it's filling up. I just killed everything in there, or a lot of the things in there, and it's filling up again. So that's that's done us really well. All right. And the other thing I've built is this, which is uh, a cobblestone generator. And okay, so put that piece of cobblestone there, and the lava comes out, hits the water, makes another cobblestone. Pick that one up, pick that one up, and so on. Okay, um, when I started making this, okay, it, first of all, I tried making it out of cobblestone itself, and be, because of the way we were making cobblestone at the time, which was killing loads of stuff, zombies in there, and then taking the zombie flesh. And putting it in these barrels, okay, and then making that into earth, and then putting the earth into the sifter, 
and then getting the stone out of the sifter. So, you know, all this would running around, it would take me about five minutes, would get me a stone. Not really that useful. Not really that useful at all. So this has, which um, I started, I, I started off making out of uh, the uh, the lava from here, but uh, in the end, I ended up just making it out of clay, which has worked perfectly well. And I've become on here sort of uh, five or six times for a half an hour, and I've got nearly twenty stacks of cobble there. And on top of that. Okay, I've um, been sifting the cobblestone. I've been put. I made a pulverizer and some some generators, and you just put the the cobblestone in here, and uh, bang! It turns into gravel, which is you know this is this is much more easier than laying it out, hitting it with a hammer, laying it out again, hitting it with a hammer. So this has been really useful. As a result of all that. I've got all this stuff here. Okay, I've finally got some redstone. I've got a diamond. I've got all these ores which I can make into metals. Um, I've got a cactus seed, so I've grown a cactus. I've got a melon seed, so I'm growing melons now. And I've even smelted some of this stuff up, so it's great. I now have metals to work with. So, you know, we're in a really good position with this now. And. Uh, I think the time has come to do a few things here. Now, first of all, I want to do some quests, but quite frankly, I think I'm getting sick and tired of killing things here. So I actually want to change this now. So I'm not getting experience. I don't kill it, but um, I want these, these mobs to automatically kill, um, get killed. Uh, so, uh, to do that, I'm going to have to lower the uh, the floor a little bit. So we're going to actually going to go down a few levels and lay out some floor, uh, which is going to be our new level. And then we'll take uh, someone down the line. I'm going to take all of this apart and just make a new world down a little bit lower. So right, with that, let's see what quests we can do. <laughs> Gunnons are coming. I need to make an area for them first, and I need to put some earth down, I need to plant some grass seeds, then the grass seeds will grow, and then hopefully um, domestic animals will, will um, spawn on that grassy area. So it's, that's going to take a little time, hopefully we'll do it this evening, we'll see. Right, let's do some quests. Alright, let's start off with learning to skyblock. Can't quite do that one yet. Though, actually, I have found some uh, ancient spores, but I want to do the new layout before I do that one. Um, pastoral life can't do. We must go deeper. I think I'll probably make an auto brewer. Let's see what an auto brewer requires. Okay, so, auto. Oh, got the caps lock on. Nice. Right, uh, an auto brewer. Auto disenchanter. That sounds interesting. An auto brewer. Okay, Requ oh, it requires a brewing stand. Can't do that yet because we don't have a blaze rod. I'll try fishing for it, but I don't want to go into the nether until I can fly. So we can't quite do that one yet. So that's back to the book. Um, getting rubbery. Oh, rubbery. Let's make some plastic sheets, shall we? Let's make some plastic sheets. So let's take our, our rubber. And let's stick some of that into four, five, six, seven, eight into the furnace like this. See you, marshmallow soup. Have a pleasant night. That gives the rubbers buzz. Uh, so want to make a truncheon out of rubber bars. It'd be fun. Uh, go and menace the zombies with it. Uh, come on, you can do it. I think that's enough for now. Let's get that back out and put those in. And the rubber bars, you just pop them back into the furnace. And... Raw plastic. The shizzy is around. Many of you as a person that does advertising, you feel like you should be doing something. Um, what would you like to do? Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, uh, raw plastic. Can we can we pop this back in? No. Right. What do we do with plastic sheets? I'm willing to bet we need four of those because we tend to need four of those. Plastic sheets. Yeah, we need four of those. So let's make a let's make another one of those quickly. And then we'll make some plastic sheets. We'll do that quest. Dragon, can you ask Simon for a job? Uh, Simon needs a job. I don't know about uh, Dragon. All right, there we go. Plastic sheets. So let's do that quest quickly. And we'll have that reward back. There we go. Okay. Uh, does that give us anything new? No, that's actually, we've done that quest now. Uh, I, I really really want to do the smell tree one but we'll do that when we've got the floor sorted out so I think we're done with that for now how's kitchen one quest available for completion so let's do this one quickly because quite frankly I'm sick and tired of um, <laughs> can you be party planner you go for it and dragon wolf tamer um, right Okay, slash mod wolf tamer. There you go. You got a job. You're in charge. Right, make bakeware, make mixing bowl. Because one of the things I really, really want to do is make food which is better than juice. So let's let's do that. Alright. Okay. So. Bakeware, bakeware. We need bricks for bricks. We need clay. Oh, we can do it with glass. That's good. Right, let's do the one with glass because we got some glass. No, uh, we got flicking glass floating around. Um. Okay, let's put some glass on to cook quickly and. We will um, look at the other one while that's going. So four, five, get a few of these. Four, five, six, seven, one more. There we go, that'll do. And we'll grab that one for good measure. There we go, okay. Oh, I had a trash can. Put stuff in there. Gone forever. Okay, right, so let's get that cooked quickly. While that's cooking, we'll have a look at the other one. Oh, we need to make sand first. Right, let's put that under cook. Pulverize The cobblestone. Let's see if these have got fuel. That one's got fuel. That one's got fuel. That one's got fuel. These are generators. They burn wood. They make electricity. This requires electricity to run. It seems like a good combination. Oh, uh, leave that to run for a sec. Let's have a look at the other one, which was a mixing bowl. Mixing bowl. Oh, we can do that one. Excellent. All right. Uh, actually, yeah, let's use some of this rubber wood, which makes jungle planks, jungle wood planks. So there's a mixing bowl. Uh, we do in here. Oh, uh, we got that's done. That let's pop that back in there to turn it into sand. So what can we do with the mixing bowl? So what recipes can we do easily? So dough and butter um, to make dough, to make pasta, heavy cream. We can't do that just yet. Soups, potatoes and salt. We can probably make salt so we can make mashed potatoes, a hearty light meal.
what are we make here? There's, a, there's not much we can make here yet, but we're getting a step close to make some of these recipes. Okay. Chili, a the bean, tofu, or a steak, an onion, a mixing bowl, and a pot. Right. Okay. It's not really opened up our food. At the moment we can go from baked potatoes to mashed potatoes, but it's a start. It's a start, I tell you. All right. Let's get those cooked up. And while they're cooking, let's see what else we can do here in the book. Uh, bees and trees open. Okay, so make an artificial hive and a seed oil can. Let's have a look at that one. Right, artificial hive. Make the pay bale and a silk mesh. We can do that. Let's do that quickly. Let's chug it along nicely. Right. We need nine of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's make that. Oh, uh, that's a silk mesh. And there's a hay bale. And that makes an artificial hive. Which is great if you think about it because we've got some bees so we can actually start thinking about making bees which I think means that we can start making different flavors of trees with them and things like that which is going to be loads of fun to try out and the other thing I needed to make was a seed oil can seed oil there we go seed oil can so we're gonna to need to make a fluid transposer and okay so and seed oil we can make in a fluid transposer or a squeezer Okay, I see how this works. So we squeeze seeds in the squeezer and we get seed oil. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So how do we make a squeezer? A squeezer. We make that with tin or tin or tin. So six tin, a sturdy casing and two glass and we can make a sturdy casing like that. Right, we come back to that because right now we can make our bakeware like that so there we go there's our bakeware sorted out we'll put that away and that means we can do another quest house kitchen open that quest done juicing need to make some apple juice well, we know how to do that. Like that. Ooh. Apparently we also know how to fire the juicer across the room. So that's that done. Claim the reward. Four iron, half a heart and a reward back. Very nice. And that leads to this one. Which is more of the same. I don't think I'll do that one just yet. We'll come back to that. So let's go back to making our squeezer. So let's put the iron away. So our squeezer requires a sturdy casing, and a sturdy casing requires seven bronze. And how do we make bronze? Um, bronze ingots. How many do we have? We have four bronze ingots. Can you make bronze ingots with copper and tin, I think. 
So we don't have any copper, so let's go and find a copper and make some of that up. Pulverized iron, pulverized copper, there we go. Don't need those three. So there we go, and put those to cook. I think we're going to start needing more furnaces at this rate. So we'll let that cook up. Okay, that's going to take a minute. So my other plan here, of course, is to lower the floor, lay out some land, and then we can start thinking about gullens, which apparently is the most important thing we can do. So let's start thinking about that. And let me introduce you to something which is really, really fun. Okay, so we have here, if you put three string, three string, three sticks, get a rope ladder. I tell you, we're going to be, uh, oh, 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 reward bags, an advanced drawbridge, oh. Oh, we're going to have so much fun with that, I think. And this one, a spiked pick. We've already got a good pick, so that's not so good. But what we do have is two half hearts, which gives us a whole heart. Gives us an extra life. We now have six lives. Okay, so this is the plan. Okay. I'm going to do is I'm going to make a hole here and then I'm going to put the uh, so it went hole like that okay and let's take that out put that in and you can see the rope ladder just goes down there so we're going to use the rope ladder to climb down and I'm going to take a load of these cobblestone blocks down there and just make a floor down there because this is such an incredibly stupid thing to do, let's first of all eat some stuff. There's my juice out. There we go. Let's eat this juice. Let's fling the juicer across the floor again. So add the apple juice. And let's top it off with melon juice. <laughs> this is a charitable um, a request for the Save the Turret Foundation. Okay, so we don't want that. Um, let's just store this stuff for now. Right, it's because the last thing I want to do is die with all this stuff on me. Especially the daggers and the, the, the tools here because they're getting really nice. Uh, there's not much space on there so we'll just pop them in here. So, especially the drawbridges. I want to do something with the drawbridges later on. And there's my artificial hive. Uh, let's keep all this stuff safe. In fact, I think I actually will take that spiked pick with me because then I've got a pickaxe if I need it keep all this stuff safe right and then all I will do is I'm gonna go and take a stack of cobblestone with me like that and most of that stuff I want to make into slabs so keep six so we keep seven that's giving me plenty of slabs that's giving me some stones now the idea here of course is we go down the stair go down the stairs here we put some we put some blocks down a little bit and then we start putting around the half slabs as a floor and so wish me luck the Valentine's appeal for save the turrets oh don't like doing this Okay, so one potato, two, 
three, four. I think that's probably far enough down. Hmm, I've just encountered a problem here. Houston, we have a problem. Right, let's do it like this. One, two, three. Yes, sir. Give me one of these. Okay. Like that. Now we should be able to put... Yes, we should be able to put half side down. Excellent. So we can now get rid of this. So slow after my other pickaxe. I'm so used to being having a really good pickaxe now. Oh great. And then we get stuck on... Ooh, right, we're there. Okay, so let's lay down some of these cobblestone slabs. Don't need that bit of the ladder anymore, so here we go. And this is the start of our new base, and because it's half slabs on the bottom, mobs won't spawn on it. So let's just get some stuff laid out here. So we're, we're definitely going to want to go underneath the, uh, the mob drop, because that's the first thing I want to sort out with this. And we know where the mob drop is, so we need to go out a couple more, I think. And this is the start of our new world, guys. Like this. And yep. And let's start playing it out this way. Uh, I hate it when it does that. Vertigo! Get ourselves a bit of space here. A bit more. Might as well use them as we've got them. And Simon is busy not dying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so true. Oh, yeah. So what are you talking about? Next Saturday... I'm going to try and organize people on Simon's server. Yes, we will have a get together on my server. I've been talking to a few people about coming on and just having a chat. Um, I'm trying to um, organize something for charitable donations as well, if we can do that. And I'll be playing some Minecraft. I'll play a bit of Sims 2, I think, and loads of other games. I mean, with 10 hours, we've got plenty of time. If we get bored, play another game. And I think I'm going to actually um, expose you guys. Ooh, I'm going to expose you guys to some new games as well. Oh, this is looking better, isn't it? We've got a bit of space here now. Just going to get a couple more rows in. I've got this cobblestone. I might as well use it. And I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, I might even play a bit of Bioshock. But if I'm playing a bit of Bioshock, you guys are also going to have to put up with me playing a bit of System Shock too, because I think it's a much better game. It's, you'll like it. It's got zombies that apologize. It's fantastic. Alright, so... A bit of space here. Dang, dang. Okay, one more row, and then I'm going to call this quits because I think we've proven the point at this point. Okay, right.